Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Thanks for joining me for devotions this morning. We're looking in the Sermon of the Mount, and we're specifically focusing in on the model prayer, this most famous section in the Bible and one that's quoted by so many at so many times. And yesterday we looked at the first phrase, our Father in heaven. And we talked about that relationship that we have. He begins with that, our Father, but let's read it again together. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. When you read this again, it starts off with our Father, this very relational, very personal, very connected terminology here. So we start off with our Father, and then the very next phrase is, may your name be kept holy, or in the old King James it says, hallowed be your name, or holy be your name. And we think most of the time of that word holy as being morally pure, or good, or something like that, but the word holy literally means separate, set apart, utterly different. So we're saying God, is unlike anything else. Our Father in Heaven is unlike anybody else or anything else. He's beyond anything. He's unimaginable. We're, the Hebrews calls Him a consuming fire. So we've got this approachable versus unapproachable. It, it's kind of a paradox here. We've got accessible versus unapproachable. And we can't really fully grasp this. We can't understand God's nature. If you think about it, we read that God is love, but we also read that God is justice. And so how do we justify those two? How do we bring those two things together? It's very difficult and it's messy. And we don't understand it because we're not God. I don't understand God because I'm not him. It's like trying to explain him through the Trinity. And we have God, the father, God, the son, and God, the Holy Spirit, and all three are God, but all three are one. And while we live here on this earth with our mind, we're never going to understand it. I was reading this weekend and saw a quote that said, Any God that I can understand is no greater than me. <laughs> How true. We will never truly fathom and understand God. But we know that He is our Father. But He is very different. He is set apart. He's beyond anything else. He's above anything else. He's all-powerful. He's holy. He's separate, but he is our father. And that's the father that we have that we can come to that we know hears and answers our prayers is that holy set apart beyond imagination, holy, utterly different God that we serve, completely different than any other God. I love the fact that I was, read, I was reading this week and I love this phrase that was used. It talked about, you know, you can go to all of these other religions, I'm paraphrasing, and you can find the grave of the founder. You can go and see Buddha's grave and Muhammad's grave and all of these people's grave. But Christianity, when you go to see the grave where Jesus was placed, it's the one that's empty. Our God is unfathomable. He is beyond everything else. He is utterly different than any other God. That's the God we serve. How awesome he is. I hope you get into his word. You read it for yourself and see what he has for you. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.